In this brief video we'll see how you can still save Outlook emails to SharePoint when you're working in Outlook Web Access or on a mobile device even though you normally use MacroView Message or MacroView DMF on your Windows desktop PC. Let's start with this diagrammatic overview of the process. On the left we have illustrated Outlook Web Access and the mail client on various mobile phone devices. When you're using those applications, you'll note that the SharePoint folders that are present in your Outlook, corresponding to each of your favorite areas in SharePoint, are still available. When you don't have MacroView DMF available, or if you're not able to connect to your SharePoint environment, you can still start the process of saving Outlook emails to those favorite areas. You do that by moving or copying emails into those SharePoint folders. When you next start Outlook, on your Windows PC and you are connected to your SharePoint environment, the MacroView software will automatically flush the emails that are waiting in those SharePoint folders. If necessary, MacroView will prompt for metadata as defined in your destination favorite areas in SharePoint and then move the email into that area, removing it from the SharePoint folder. At the completion of the process, the emails are all fully saved in your favorite areas in SharePoint and no longer in the SharePoint folders in your Outlook Web Access environment. Now let's see it happen in practice. Here in my favorites mode I see I've got an upload offline emails test group within that a subgroup called on-premises SharePoint which has got three favorites. One corresponding to a document library, a second to a document set and a third to a SharePoint folder which is currently empty. I've also got a second group called SharePoint Online with again a document library, a document set and a SharePoint folder within my SharePoint Online environment. On the left of Outlook I see I've got an Upload Offline Emails Test folder as well and if I expand that I see subfolders the same as in my SharePoint mode. Here's my on-premises document library and document set and my empty folder. I've also got my uh, corresponding online areas. So each of these Outlook folders corresponds to a single favorite area in SharePoint, either on-premise or online. Now I'm going to close Outlook and leave the office and jump into Outlook Web Access, where I see the same groups and folders as I was able to see when I was in my Outlook desktop client. Here's the folder that corresponds to my on-premises SharePoint library. It is currently empty. I'd like to start saving this email from the Azure team to my on-premises document library, so I drop it into that area. Here it is, sitting in that folder within my Outlook Web Access environment. I also saved this email from Michael, which as you can see contains an attachment. So the folder that corresponds to my on-premise SharePoint document library now contains two emails, one with an attachment and one without. I've started saving some other emails, so you can see the folder that corresponds to my document set now also contains two emails, one with attachment, one without. The same is true of my folder corresponding to a SharePoint folder. Let's restart Outlook. We see that files are automatically being saved. These are the emails that were in my Outlook Web Access folders. They're now being saved to the corresponding areas within SharePoint on-premises. Let's go back to Favorites mode and check the contents of those favorite areas. Here's that corresponding on-premises SharePoint document library. Here are the two new emails that we started saving when we were offline. Now let's look at the on-premises document set. And again, we see two emails, including this one with two large attachments. But now when I look at my SharePoint folder, I see that there's only one email has been uploaded. I must have interrupted the process, but I can cause that upload to continue by clicking Macro View, Upload Offline Emails. It shows me that there is still one email waiting to be saved from the offline areas. If I click OK, that save now happens as well. And when I click the SharePoint folder, I see that it now contains both the files that I started uploading to it while I was offline. When we're offline, we can use the same approach to start the saving of emails to our favorite areas in SharePoint Online, such as this online document set, which currently contains only a single Word document. Let's close Outlook again and go back to our Outlook Web Access. 
Let's save this email from the Microsoft Online Services team by dragging it to that area. The area now contains a single email waiting to be uploaded to SharePoint. Again, when we restart Outlook, we see that the email is uploaded to the corresponding area in SharePoint Online. When we click that area in the Favorites mode, we see the newly uploaded email. As we have seen, when you're offline, you can start the saving of an email by moving it to the SharePoint folder that corresponds to one of your favorite areas in SharePoint. That's either SharePoint Online or SharePoint On-Premises. And you can do this while working in Outlook Web Access or on the Mail app on a mobile phone or other mobile device. For more information about solutions for managing emails in SharePoint, contact MacroView using these details.